guys, Urban Architect here and welcome to another quick tutorial and today we're just going to be going over roundabouts, uh, when to use them, what roads to use to build them and how to build them and how to make them actually work. And first of all, where do you use a roundabout? Well, one thing you need to note about roundabouts is that the main reason you use a roundabout would be to improve traffic flow because as you can see cars don't actually need to stop so cars can just flow right into the roundabout and additionally cars don't have to make any left turns so the main advantage of a roundabout is that in an intersection like this one that would normally have a lot of traffic you can have your cars flowing through very quickly but while the traffic flow improvement is very good, the reason you don't see roundabouts used everywhere, even in Europe, is that roundabouts have a few key drawbacks. The first being that when you compare it to a normal intersection, a roundabout takes up a lot of space. And outside of a few trees and flowers, there's not much you can do within this big circle of empty space because it is surrounded by fast moving cars. And the second big drawback of roundabouts, which in addition to the space, is the reason you shouldn't be using roundabouts in your downtown cores is that roundabouts are very very bad for uh, pedestrians moving through them because here if a pedestrian wants to continue straight through the intersection all they need to do is cross whereas here they need to go all the way around or use a pedestrian bridge or they can cross here on the intersection if you set it up but that means cars do have to stop, which kind of does hurt the whole purpose of a roundabout. So, taking this into consideration, you shouldn't be using roundabouts in areas where you want to have more pedestrian traffic than car traffic, or areas which are just going to see a lot of pedestrian traffic, like right in front of train stations or something. Where you should be using them is areas where space isn't that big of an issue, and where you're going to be seeing a lot of traffic. So for example, coming off of a highway exit in a rural area or on the edge of your downtown are great places to have roundabouts as they do serve to control flow and improve it. And now what types of roads to use? Well, we can start by looking at this vanilla roundabout which has a great example of what types of roads not to use because as you can see, they've used highways for their one-way roads. And highways in city skylines, along with highways in real life, don't have any sidewalks, which means it's actually impossible for pedestrians to move through these. Additionally, if you look at the speed limits right here, these cars would just be moving way too fast for anything realistic or really anything safe. And even if you do lower the speed limits, the fact is highways also don't have curbs. So definitely don't use highways for your intersections, for your roundabouts, and instead you can use some vanilla one-way roads, like these, or, or like these big one-way roads, but these are too big, I mean. Or you can use, I like to use these network extensions roads for roundabouts, because they have just enough lanes, while also don't, not having any parking. So these are very solid. And your roads coming in, it doesn't really matter what road you have coming into your roundabout, right? Anyhow, that's basically what type of road you want to be using in your roundabout. And basically all you need to know is you don't really want parking and you definitely don't want highways. Now we're just going to quickly build a roundabout over here and I've already started it. And one of the best things to do for roundabout building is just starting with your intersection. And then we just take our roads and we measure out and here we're going for nine units and I'd rec I can't recommend precision engineering strongly enough for this. And we go nine units and we go nine units and we can delete this and there we have our roundabout. Now one thing you can do for your roundabout and I'm only going to do it on this exit to improve the flow of cars coming into and out of the roundabout is we can do this. And we can do this. And then we just move it. And you can use node controller to make these a bit smoother. But the more important part of doing this is that in addition you want to turn this one as well into a two lane. Is that then you can go right here. 
and your cars can flow right out of the roundabout without having to make any big turns. Essentially working like a highway exit. And I do have my roundabout flowing the wrong way here. So we just wanna upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And then this way, you have your lane math as you've already seen in my other tutorial. But this isn't really something you need to do as it does sort of ruin the circle and it is a lot more work to detail. But it is definitely something you can consider. And now just for the quick last step in this tutorial, I'll just show you how Traffic Manager can improve your roundabouts. Now sometimes city skylines won't notice that you have a roundabout and it'll have traffic lights so you can just turn those on and off. Additionally, if you're doing this, you can just make sure your lanes are connected where you want them to so that cars can actually flow smoothly. And then right here, if you don't do this, for example, these cars would need to be merging into where other cars are going. So we'd wanna make sure you use a yield sign here so that cars on this road stop and wait until it's clear for them to go in. And for example, for example, if you were to use a smaller road like this, you can just up the speed limit because you don't want cars to stop and you sure as hell don't want them to go slow. Anyhow, that does about cover a basic guide for roundabouts, how to build them, where to build them, and of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them down below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.